Hello everyone, my name is Lothar and welcome back to Battle of Arms Legends. It's not long now. Not long left now. Sheltered Ruins. Yep. We go take that down. Then do the Kraken. And then who knows what's next for us. Let me scout ahead. See what sort of forces they have. Okay. I guess we're attacking them during the day. Okay, 60 bandits. And they do have marksmen. Shoot. Okay then. Got very nice fortification. I reckon I actually can take down a lot of their archers. Let's see. So this is their front rank here. I'm held up on this hill, which is a good position to be held up on. The only issue lies in their archers. So, hoping that they move forward to extent. And we're going to have to try to utilize max range against them. I'm also going to have to get him out of that pit, because they're going to target my Black Knight to the extreme extent, which is very annoying. 60 bandits. Breaking them is also an option. However, they are holding that position, and I am under no pretext trying to install, assault it. Can I get him? No. So it has to be a long shot, but because he's exposed, we're going to take him down. All right. So this is about eight action points. So even with inspiration, we cannot do more than one. However, we have pretty good chance of making it and damaging the chest is excellent there. And then for the rest of us, we basically are going to hold our position. You are going to give inspiration because well your range is just shorter than everyone else. I think it's that vision impairment. Really should fix that. Yeah. Definitely the vision going on there. Doing that opens up a nice gap for us. I think we're no we're not slightly higher. We're at the same high level. Going down that valley is death sentence for whichever side decides to do it first. The eagle, champion, nimble, inspired by a nearby leader. Brilliant. Alright, shields up, man. This is the next best thing we can do. Me thinks are, anyways. Of course, you have a really nice shield, so you're quite good there, quite comfortable. Everyone's very comfortable except for you. I just want you out of that hole, which is closer to the archers, which isn't great, but if someone's going to soak arrow fire. Here comes the eagle now. Can't quite hit. A lot of them are just dancing with us. So we'll let them have that shot. If they're going to move forward with their own archers, that's the case and way it's going to be. A lot of weights happening, which means their initiative is going to suck. There's also just a lot of them. But waiting does damage initiative. So. I mean, we're guilty of waiting as well. I should stop. Because that's how you get the advantage in a fight like this. 58, yep. About 3 to 1. Yep. The archers are moving forward now. Some nasty shots they can inflict if they get lucky on us. Okay. I end that turn. Definitely more archers moving up. They have a lot of archers here. Luckily, it's still quite hard for them to hit the farther back guys, so they're not bothering ETM, which is good for us. We'll utilize that to our full advantage that we can take. Not miss like that. That is not the best move. Because now, well, maybe they'll move forward enough to no longer give the archer cover, because that's always the problem. Is the Damn idiots. Sort of exchange their position so the archers are in out of cover, you know. Okay, well that was a good miss, I guess, that one. That guy's poison now, so I'm happy enough with that. We'll poison the master archer as well. I'm happy enough with that. 
can inspire him because he can hit people on this line. And he's got a big old quiver of arrows. And yeah, we're going to check through. And we're going to hold this advantage. There we go. Had a good shot, ripped ear. So I'm happy with that. I got some bleeding going on. Shield up. And shield up. Okay, hold. And he's going to bleed out. But we're going to do that, I think, yeah. Sick of the shooter. Oh, we're not going to shoot him multiple times, but we got him a little bit more to rights. He's bruised. So I'll take that as a victory. No need to even spears out there. You're still holding fine with your armor. Yep, they have a lot more archers still, but we're making headway on those archers. We'll see how long they're willing to sit around while we trade these blows, because my archers and men have heavy armor than theirs, so it's numbers versus quality. And now the guy just bled out. So yeah, let's see who wins this fight. Of course, they're going to keep on rallying. But those weight actions are going to affect the effectiveness of their archers. And tail, they do something like that. And pierce a side. That's when it gets a little bad, but I'll just move her back now. There we go. Now they have to work a little bit. Shooter, their fatigue's not getting as affected, but that is honestly fine. I can accept their fatigue not getting affected. Honestly, I should get bone plate on all of my archers. Forget the sphere stuff. Bone plate on every single archer. So the first arrow that hits them won't disrupt them. Because that's their biggest weakness Mashers has, is the basically getting hit once and then a stacking, they keep targeting. So I think bone plate on the archers is a good idea. I mean also just better rage defense would be nice, but it's not a perfect world now, is it? Case in point, that guy getting knocked into a hole. Okay, good. Very good. And, okay, come on. There we go. That's not bad. And inspiration here. Yeah, we're just going to let them come up this hill. I'm not giving them any ground to take freely. This shields up. And we're good at doing that. Now, if you do want to take this space, you're going to have to come through me. So you can go up that little hill there or try to fight there. I'm personally fine with that as well. That is an avenue of approach you are completely allowed to attempt to take. Okay, good. 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 It's called a dissuader. And now, Archer of Passing Skill is advanced. Of course, it's still a very long way for them to fling the arrows. And now, the rest of their troops are advancing, but again, they have to take the hill. So I am not giving it up so easily. Alright. This man, I'm a little worried about, but he just went onto low ground, so the eagle is actually slightly vulnerable now. Eagle, so to say, has left the nest. Alright. The smug is a little concerning as well. Now their dogs are finally being set on me. Still 53 bandits. Can't get cocky. Alright. Guy in the pit. Will do. Now we're good there. Just let them keep on trying to push us. Okay. Interesting. Swordmaster there. Oh, start hammering. These archers are all moving up. Ow. Alright. You just got some work cut out for her. Okay. Shield catch. Good. Good. Bandits have realized it wasn't going to work out for them. 
This is sitting back, holding still. Shame. Oh well, we can do that at the very least. And inspire him again. He might get exhausted after this rate though. Alright, dude, up. Patched up, good. Patch her up a bit. Bring back those hit points. Alright. Archer hunting time. Okay. I'll hit the ones in the back then. And. Yeah, I'll be hit you guys. Eventually, you're going to move forward away from them. Okay. That's fine by me. Continue your slow advance. And we'll just hold position. There we go. That man's dead. No matter what he does, when it's his turn next. And this spot is still very nicely held by us. And you are exhausted, my friend. It's a shame. Good hit. Alright, you need some time to break. Okay. And the Batman made the fail mistake of stepping where he shouldn't. Now that archer's a little exposed. And he got the ghost, okay. Not too worried. Yep, also don't step there. And will you learn? There are certain spots not to step. Okay. Can't keep handling these archers missing. Quite happy to keep handling it, really. Still a lot of archers, oh my goodness. A lot of brigands. So many. What is this? It was 60 verse, basically 19. Although, one, I don't really count. Uh, I'm gonna wait on him again. Alright. Not a bad hit. Oh, your hit points looking, you're recovered on that level. That man died, a whole bunch of them broke. Excellent. Of course, they can rally. Ghost got him, though. Okay. Well. Veterans and elites of light. Stand ye down, you fools of men, or I'll strike you down where ye stand. Damn. Okay. Which one of you is the archer? It's you. You're the archer hunter. Okay. Slightly out of his favor there. Good shooting. Let's wrap up the ghost a bit, I guess. Because why not? And take care of the dog. Can hold here happily. Yes, quite happy. Alright. And clear out those two men. If he comes closer, we'll have to deal with that. I'm sure, springing the action is nice. Don't need to do it. Okay. There we go. And there we go. Of course. There we go. Yeah, you can just hold. Well, good shot. Okay. Excellent. And that's a lot of them breaking, so we'll see what chap actually remains. When all is said and done. Shall we? Okay. It's going to be hard for him to get the hill. They have to go around here or to here, so he's actually quite safe. Good spot to spring to. A lot of archers moving forward. Still a lot of guys to back them up. Should move to a few good rally points, I think. Okay, Ghost got another one. That's a break. We've seen better days, some of their men. There we go. That whole front line just smashed. Not the right kind of rally. They need a horn to be blown there. Okay. A lot of guys are now trying to force their way up here. So, 
need him to devote his shooting elsewhere. That's another man broken. And here we can loop around to here. Good spot to hold okay, this searcher, just so they get a cycle, not getting tired. Alright. Bleeding. Bleeding. And... That's that guy hurting now. All right, yeah, you can still hold it right here. Is that what I want? There we go. Let's see, I'll take him. A little bit of vengeance, a little bit of shield. Yeah, pass your turn. Let them keep on coming. See how far they get. How's that man broken? How's that man injured? It's going to be less effective. A lot of rallying is about to happen. Because they still quite outnumber me. Dog's going to keep running. So those men are breaking. So it's going to be a back and forth tide. Because I suspect a lot of them will come back. Because there's still 40 of them. So they've got pretty good numbers on me. And that man's definitely starting to go down. Still got archers I have to be careful about, because they can definitely hurt. Okay, let's kind of get an angle on us. Cheeky bugger. The shield is working out quite nice for us, though. Alright. Broken. Good. So, that old hand. So I have a little bit of trouble now. And just a cheeky reminder that we still have her in the back, even if she's a little injured. Whoa. Ghost dealing some damage. Definitely trying to move up. I respect that. I have nothing but the utmost respect for their forces. Well, not really at all, but it's polite to say it. Okay, yeah, definitely a big fight happening here. Uh, split didn't go through to the uh, smug. That's a shame. Okay. Well. I can spy him. We're just gonna hold there. And they can continue to drive up around the side. All they like. We've got our positions pretty locked down. Okay, he's bleeding, crushed trachea. And the marksman just out for the count. I'm gonna let her take a breather. Okay, he finished off another brigand. Gotta let him... Oh, he's got a lot of fatigue, actually. So let him deal a little bit more mental damage. Okay. And... There we are. Shield up. Spears out. Let's keep her steady. And you can curve in here and rest. All right. There's the eagle. Only his armor's damaged. Now oh, we gotta get that fell still. I forgot about him. Here's a lot of rallying, a lot of running. Good. We're coming back. Trying to still do a little bit of damage. Ooh, the eagle got a nasty shot off on us there. Okay, cut ear. That's good. Ow. That was a miss, I think, that that ended up hitting. That was hurt. Yeah, this fight over here is getting a little bad. Be nice to have a spear on that side. Okay. Well, can't hit everything. No, can you? Now they're really pushing forward up here. Which I'm honestly fine with. A lot of rallying going on. The eagle's been slowly getting healed. That's one another problem. Okay. That spear, though, is still very much doing its job. Okay. Still a lot of archers to finish off as well here. All right, gentlemen. Let's continue our little duels. And I'll give it to you. You shield, shield. And keep us shielded. 
You can't perform that on yourself. I'm a little worried about you, so I'm gonna move you out of his range. You're gonna be big chillin'. There we go. That's another bit of moral damage to that side. Okay, now she can actually start wading in here and taking a few names. He, however, is going to keep just the shield position out of arrows. Luckily, we have spare. Okay, so. Do you happen to have spare? Yes, you do. Good. All right. That's that archer dealt with. Excellent. And just keep defending our boys. Although the only archer actually that's dangerous is here, so we're going to block him there. 28 versus 28 now. Well, starting to like these odds a little bit more. In fact, let's just do that for the sake of it. And because we can get away with it, we can drive up here now against them. This here's a little more risky. Need to get them battle flow. A few guys are maneuvering. All right, you're breaking. Don't know why. You're doing quite well. Okay, they have a crossbow core right there, so that was actually a good spot to put them. Okay, start smashing up this line. A lot of the monks are now consolidating. Yeah, that is a lot of monks. Into the pit with him. We'll see if he comes back. A lot of switching. They're trying to break the legend there, I think, is what's going on. Alright. Well, let's give him some reason to keep on fighting nobly. And... That's that man a little bit more dealt with. Good. Inspiration to you. You're happy there. Good cover. Get down there. Alright. Let's start dealing some retaliative damage to them. Bleeding. Miss. That's fine. And you're no longer needed here. So let's move you up. And then, poison, good. He slowed. Are these the master, ah, master archer and the eagle? Okay, man in front, that's good enough. And he is dead, so we can carry on up here. And he misses, that's fine. Okay, you're out, but you can still shield them a bit. And you're done, son. All right. What's that one dealt with? You're tired. Rallied, but still running. Now they're starting to break. Oh, some are coming back, though. Weird, weird cycles happening. I guess, yeah, that guy got his cough his back, too, the Master Swordsman. Eagle's attempting to run. He's poisoned though, so I don't know how he traveled so far. Huh. Well, up and at him, lads. Up and at him, I guess. And can we send you back to the pit? Yes, we can send you a step back towards the pit. Some of the enemies I never even saw. My goodness. Alright. Let's finish him off. Two stamps. Not quite enough, eh? Hey? Okay. Keep the vision going, eh? I'd like to catch some of these cowards. Oh, they're attempting their dubious escapes. Good. Alright. That's exactly what I wanted. Hill's going to make things more difficult, challenging. Alright. How far can she get in her pursuit? I'm about to there. Alright. So he can get all the way up here, and then he can just take one step and start shooting, so that's pretty far. 
veteran dealt with fleeing. Got your tired man. These guys can basically be caught up with. Main person I'm concerned with is the eagle escaping. So. I'm not exactly letting him run. Bit of rallying going on here. Nope, we're running them down. Okay, that guy footworked and moved to there. That is fine. I think we can still catch him up. Even with his fancy, fancy footwork. Arch is moving to an interesting spot. Got him. Good. Good. Yeah, he's quite gone. White gone. Move up and continue the rush. Him down. Okay, so he'd have to skedaddle to there, so he's going to have to do a lot of fancy footwork to get out of this one. There we go. And, oh, can't quite reach him. Someone might be able to, though. Get you to there. You're good where you are. You can catch up this man, which is nice. Man, 12 of you guys left and you're running on me. There we go. All pays off in the end. No escape, no quarter. I think that's most of the ones I can catch now have been caught. I can do general order movement, but a lot of them are going to be exiting the map pretty soon here. So, Delta will be capturing a whole lot there left. No, does not look like it. Especially with beating out of ammo on so many people. Like maybe him? Yeah, so I can get the Master Archer. So, that's about the last Archer I'll be catching. Last guy, too. So, that's what we got ourselves to, it would seem. So, see who deals the land, the axe. All right. I'm definitely not checking anymore. So, now we end. Oh, the dog's attacking. I guess if they have the moral, they do it. The rest of them should basically be out of here, and then at the start of a turn, I can take that thing down. 19 brothers to go through, though. So, one guy with a war pick and a monk left. Monks out of here. War pick boys almost out of here. Check, check. Dog down. Check all the way through. Now it just has to be monk or war pick boy to finish leaving the map. On whatever their initiative order is. And we took out the massive bandit army. Another half a hundred. Didn't lose anyone in this half hundred, though. That went to well holding position there. A lot of experience. A lot of fun magic items, too. Grifford's... Oh, it's actually the Smug's Longblade. I like that. Two different magic bows. Very nice. Some fancy shields. One fancy bit of kit. A whole bunch of rubbish. And what it picks for me to get and what I should be getting are always very silly. Luckily, I can just get rid of all this orc garbage, these knives, that worthless hatchet, those blades. And a lot of this stuff is quite valuable to sell. Quite, quite valuable. And... Whatever armor's remotely intact, all those headpieces. So, favor a lot of these bolts because I don't really even work with bolts. A lot of those intact helmet pieces can be valuable. Throwing weapons can take even more intact helmet parts. And then, weapons wise, these maces are intact. And. Always good to have another big shield. All right, there we go. Wait, what? I attacked the place though. Now I'm confused. 
Do I have to do that all over again? What was I fighting? Is it like going to be whoever's left that didn't run away? Uh, okay. Guess so in some weird bit of empty climacticness. If I had these guys, I'd be running pretty hard. Although they got a nice hill. I won't lie about that. They got a really nice hill. To fight me for, but this this is a very hard to win fight for anyone of any skill. Okay, right. Well, that's him broken. Can run down the bard. Okay. Oh, I guess this is the bandit army now. Some weird twist of fate. Good swings, good swings. Okay. There we go. Bizarre is what I have to say to that. Downright bizarre. destroyed. Time to move on. Sell and buy. Town has a lot of wealth. No longer ambushed. We just make a ton of money. Cyphus is actually still wealthy after you? Yes, okay. Right then. Oh, the troops disable is when all the new gear comes up because they're selling all their stuff back. Because the army shows up and then it diminishes. I get all the loot back, okay. What is this one handed sword? And does anyone in my army actually deal with one handed what you use the cleaver one handed. And you're skilled in both you're just cleaver boy, okay. Cause I got some stuff to sell. I'm rather curious on the Cleaver, where'd it go? There it is. One headed sword. It's not bad. Uh, it's not really my lad's line of weaponry on any one of these boys. Yeah. Use a spare weapon, it could be nice. You've always had the hatchet. You know what? Why don't I give you a magic freaking sword? Same to you, like this thing's cool and all, but like a magic sword is a bloody magic sword, you know? Right. You know, everyone's basically got a backup magic weapon. Good. Two perks, well, we'll get to that first. Got a load of crud to sell. As they say in polite society. Also got a lot of stuff to make. Not help any unheld skin, though. Other things. That's not going to be sold here. That's going to be sold in the market. Probably doesn't make a difference, but all the same. Okay. Big cross. Anything basically over 100 gold is what we sell. So we're going to hold on to that. These bows are worth repairing, honestly. Throwing them into the repair pit and then selling them when they're repaired is when it's worthwhile. Don't need that many of those. Those can all be broken down. More than 100 gold, more than 100 gold. Because we ever want to equip them. Well, they'll be in good condition at that time then. 100 gold, 100 gold, 100 gold, 100 gold. Uh, I'm not going to sell that 100 gold, 100 gold. Yeah, we don't need that glaive. Uh, these weapons I want to hold on to for some reason. These hatchets I can sell. That blade there, I'm going to hold on to that. We have one of these shield types already, so we'll sell one worth more money. Just a pageant, really. And then 
I have too many kite shields as it is, so I'll just sell all these random pattern kite shields. These helmets. Various different components to them. Okay, I hold on to that. A souvenir. Don't know what the special part about that. I think it's the chainmail, which might be nice on something. Okay. And we will just scroll back up quickly to see if there's any other guard. We don't really use javelin. Don't really use javelins. However, against the beast of beasts, it might be a good idea to have a few javelins ready to throw at it. Okay. 100 gold. Can repair the rest. We're not going to use that many trades and stuff. Good, 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 good. All right. Excellent. And then marketplace. Doesn't really change the value, but I feel better about it. Fish and grain and bread and cheese. A lot of medical supplies, because I used a ton of those recently. All right, then. Now then, back to the tent. And we're going to go to the repair tent. And all these magic items, to whatever extent we own them, I'm going to set to repair because that will increase their value considerably. All right, so those are all set to repair. And then the recycling workshop. Whole bunch of new garbage to feed to it. Uh, yep, gonna keep the long mace. That guitar can go. Honestly, don't need a big sword. That thing's fun, so we'll hold on to it. These can go. Hatchet, we're gonna keep though. Memories, you know how it goes. A lot of these helmets and pieces are trash. It's a nice feather. I like that. Just fancy looking. Uh, that can go, 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 that can go. That can go, that and that can all go. All right. Now, if we just camp for a bit and recover from those injuries, have a good place to do our repairs and our salvaging. Uh, the Nevenors will keep needing their commander. Not time to retire yet. Alright, repairs are done. Uh, stop being so paranoid. Alright, doing some gathering, doing some repairs. We can move on now. I think my inventory is definitely going to be a little bit more decluttered. A lot of level ups do. Okay. Now let's see these horns on this bad boy. Oh, still so many things actually to break down and salvage. All right. Well, I'm going to deal with one of these horns. Anyways, here now. Let's see if anyone needs a layer three. What does it look like on you? Freaking dumb. You got, got big old horns. Not with that hat, and that hat's kind of your signature thing. Definitely not on you. Doesn't work on you. Maybe if we did the wolf layer first, and then... No, it doesn't suit the wolf's demeanor. No. Definitely won't work on you. Um, if we get rid of the bandana, or actually, if we get rid of the earrings, we do this, then the bandana sort of covers them up, and the horns can look kind of cool. And the horns, I think, work for that hat, don't they? Oh, they also might work on her. No, not the earrings, not the horns. No, definitely don't go with that helmet. Okay. Earrings go, though. 
so like this or this first because that's kind of his bandana and then the horns no bandana so horns then bandana okay enough plain dress up that is garbage so that's for recycling good 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 No one actually needs the boilerplate belly, do they? Um, but where is this new outfit that I'm repairing? Some part of it's magic. As I suspect it was the chainmail. 140. Let's see. That's a very nice layer. Because you got the 150. You got 145. This is 140. Eight. Slightly less fatigue, okay. You're... Who suffers a little from armor? Lacking in the body. I mean, everyone has so much in the body, actually. That's the thing. What's yours? Oh, you got an amazing layer there, okay. And you got pretty good. 115, but this is better. I'd like you to have a little bit more armor. And so this 115 can replace that old thick thing. Now your sleeves look a little bit more respectable. And yeah, yours is better. You and you, we can ignore. Yeah, you've got better. All right. Is anyone missing a layer four here? No? Everyone's got layer fours. No, you don't have a layer four. Wrap up a little more with that dark cloak. That looks slick. How much armor is that? That's only 70. Okay. Because I like the light stuff on them all the same. Like. Oh, there's better, but I like the green tunic on her. <laughs> He's got a very nice layer, too. Although this is better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we'll put the pot shard on him then. And... Your layer 2 is garbage. Why have you been... No wonder they target you. You go... With this scale baby here. And then that on top. It doesn't really change your look. It gives you some good... Some better armor. Anyways, your layer one will be vastly improved. This is why you always get to go first, I guess, with your hawk, but we don't actually need that. Not really. Okay, well, I'm much more satisfied now with that armor situation on my lads and lasses. Your initiative can still be stinking high. You can increase your accuracy, give you a bit of range defense just to help. A little bit of fatigue to make up for what you just lost. Your ballistic skill, of course, goes up. Your range defense, of course, goes up. And fatigue. Now you get to uh, push the advantage. A lot of people are going to have the advantage pushed on them. I really like my archers having overwhelm, so I'm going to give you overwhelm. And yeah, there we go for you. Oh yeah, extra ammunition. I was looking for some of that for you. So there you go, spare bag of extra ammunition. You get a perk finally, battle flow. That was my intention for you for quite a while. So, nice. Level 16 perk. Again, a level 16 perk. I don't know if battle flow would actually work for them. Like, headhunter could be nice. Lone Wolf is ridiculous. That's not your style at all. I want these skills down here, though. Crippling Strikes. Honestly, the more injuries you can inflict, the better. So, yeah. Crippling Strike. And additional damage against undead is very nice. Alright, there we go. Bulk you up there. This is your final level. This is your final level speaking. So, Killing Frenzy. You have Berserker. 
and battle flow as well for taking people down. You get back up again, can keep on fighting. There we go. I mean, matching set, their helmets are just hard to bring up to the level of everything else. All right, roar, level 11, all right. Now, we just need to chill out for a bit. However, I'm going to head to a taxidermist first. Uh, Fletcher, we'll head to a Fletcher, see if we can get better arrows. Then we'll go to a taxidermist. Is that archery terminus? I see. It's also worth checking out. Um, ten bolts. Large quiver of bolts. Broadhead. Large quiver of broadhead arrows. Worst against armor. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm looking at for. Maybe a large bag of armor piercing. Could be fun. Okay. Let me go with a large bag of broad head if they're actually arrows. These are bolts, unfortunately. Okay. So, this place here, though, is having an archery contest. Interesting people show up at archery contests. Usually. You can find good archers. None here today, though. Huh. Let's we'll see if the armory has anything special. Not at all. Highly disappointing, really. Okay, well, we got a ton of food, so we just need to make our way to a Fletcher. Taxidermist. Any nightmare raiding caravans. Don't really care. Poor wealth. That sucks to be them. Not my problem. All right. Arrows. Okay, your vision thing, though. We need to address this. Because you're losing two vision here. I'm sure that helmet's cool. But two vision is just too much. Uh, this thing's just one vision. Sword works underneath and losing one division is it nearly as bad. I need you guys to have clarity. I need you to be able to see what you're fighting. So, yeah, switching that out until we can get him further seen. Vision hat. Alright, arrows, of course. That was what I was switching out as well. Before I forget. Um. Okay, so you're going to be taking the piercing arrows for now on. Yes, with your bleed. Why? Because I feel like it. I think both plays have taxidermies. So that's chill. All right, taxidermist. Bone plate. Thank you very much. Okay, no unhold. Garbage. Deuces, nor damage you. Yeah. Not building any of that stuff. I think I can make a few extra necklaces. Okay, I can make one because I kept selling all this garbage. You sell it too many times, and then you can no longer make all the stuff you thought you'd be able to make. <laughs> Apothecary Miracle. Um. All right, Athune, War Dog Armor, Wolf Pelt Mental. Yep, all right. I'll go on that then. One bone plating is one bone plating. And it's going to. Let's see. You got good armor now. I don't like people shooting him. He's got firearm protection. That looks better on your armor anyway. He's got that sort of ragged look, so yeah. And 
And that stuff's 60 armor for layer 5. 60 armor. This is only 10. And resolve the opponents are just slightly scared. Yeah, no thank you. Now you could just have a mantle, because that's fun. And a Nazgir necklace. Give you a sort of witchy look. There we are. There we are. All right then. All right then. Can we paint your helmet red? No. I want to have a helmet that they want painted red. Uh, kind of ruin that look. It looks so distinct. Ah, uh, just helmet in the back is red now. Uh, everyone's got such distinct looks, it won't really work. Alright. And then, uh, to the swamp space. That's right. Finally. And now we should have enough. So, we'll leave it there for a day. So thank you very much for all watching. I'll catch you all next time when we finally fight the Kraken. Okay, see you then. It's gonna be a good one.